Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new subscriber mail unboxing video. Yes, another really big box, another really heavy box. Let's open it. Okay, so I've got my little trusty companion, Bobby Box Cutter, to help me get through all this brown parcel tape which has uh, been parceled up very nice oh that wasn't too painful and that wasn't too painful either wow must have used an entire roll of parcel tape for this <laughs> oh okie dokie What? What the? Oh my god. What the hell? Okay, so it is actually literally rammed to the top. We do have a note from Paul Holt. Hi Paul, hope you are well. Love your content. Here's a big box of films for all the great videos you do. All the best from a long time fan, fan, uh, fan Paul Holt. Oh yes, baby. Look, he's even put it at the bottom there. Oh yes, baby. Brilliant, awesome. Thank you very much, mate. Oh my God. How long the hell is it going to take to go through this lot? Okay, so let's have a look. Jesus. Okay, so the first one I am pulling out uh, is a Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe film, uh, which I actually do have. Uh, but thank you for sending it. So uh, if you don't mind, I'll throw that in a, in a giveaway if that's okay. Uh, if not, let me know and I'll send it back to you. But yeah, haven't actually got around to seeing that one yet. Next up, um, Anniversary Edition. Oh, this is, um, is this kind of like a different version of Jumanji? Zathura. Looks like this is maybe the German release, as with the, uh, the logo down the bottom there. Never seen Zathura, but it, I think I remember somebody saying it's like the kind of science fiction version of Jumanji I could be wrong but it's got Kristen Stewart uh, Josh Hutchinson and Tim Robbins that'd be good I've never seen that oh what have we got here okay uh, we have Rise of the Foot Soldier part two never seen any of the Rise of the Foot Soldier films so that'd be interesting They've done about five now, I think. And what else have we got? Next up is The Hunt on DVD. Uh, I also do have this on Blu-ray. Uh, but thank you for sending it. So um, I'll put that one in a giveaway. Oh, I don't know if maybe we should be looking at this one. It's called Virus. <laughs> Uh, Virus Buster Surge on DVD, whatever that is. It looks like anime, some kind of Japanese anime. Manga. Oh, it says manga down the bottom there. Uh, but uh, there's three DVDs, so that's good. And then we have... What's this? Ooh. Ooh, that looks a bit scary. Lair of the Beast. Uh, four friends hike into the Pinewood Forest to find evidence of the Chupacabra, a creature believed to be responsible for the disappearance of a group of experienced hikers a year earlier. Oh, that sounds good. Nice um, sleeve. Come out with a lot of good sleeves on DVD. Uh, and then we have... Rebecca de Mornay in Mother's Day. 
Mother knows best. Okay, don't know anything about that one, but it says an intense, horrifying experience. Oh dear me, from the director of Saw 2, 3 and 4. <laughs> I'll be watching that one with a cover over my head then. <laughs> and next up we have a slice of horror reminiscent of John Carpenter's The Thing. Yeah, it kind of looks like The Thing on the cover. It's called Blood Glacier, the station. Never heard of it, but that does look very thingy. So yeah, I'll definitely have to check that one out. A truly chilling creature feature. The gates of hell are made of ice in this tense horror thriller, paying homage to The Thing and Assault on Precinct 13. Fantastic. What is this? Oh, uh, oh, do you know what? I've actually never seen any of these. I think there's quite a few of these as well. This is England. This is England 80, 86 and 88. Uh, what is it about? Is it about a couple of kids or something? In 80s England, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Worth a try. And then we have, oh, that's very nice. Two movie for, uh, collection for The Fox and the Hound. Nice cover there. Two movies. And then we have another one, Brother Bear. Never seen any of the Brother Bear movies, ever. But uh, I didn't even know there was a Brother Bear 2, to be honest. But uh, yeah, Brother Bear. This looks like another German one. Uh, this kind of looks like um, a more intense horror version of Stranger Things, maybe. Summer of 84. Yeah, never seen that, but uh, that looks interesting. Definitely give that one a go. And then we have, with the voice of Christian Slater as Deadshot, a DC Universe movie, Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. Uh, well, this is probably my only second DC animated movie. I've got the uh, Red Sun, but uh, that, I've got that on Blu-ray. But yeah, Suicide Squad, fantastic. Oh, hello, what's this? Ooh. A couple of lightsaber keyrings? Mini mini saber. Oh, just key rings. Very nice. Oops, put that down there. And then what have we got here? We have Marvel Toy Box Spider Man. That looks cool. With his web. <laughs> his little web. Oh, we have a we have. Oh my god. We have a pop vinyl figure. Uh, and this will complement my other pop vinyl figure. Oh my lord. I, I was I was going to get this one at some point and I just never saw it again. This is a Captain Marvel pop figure. Goose. Flurkin. Glows in the dark. Oh my god. Fantastic. See, I've got the regular one. I've got the regular goose in the middle there. Uh, but I, yeah, I never got round to getting the uh, the flurking one. Thank you very much for that. That's awesome. Uh, what we've got down here. Oh, something in the bottom there. I don't know what it is. I think it might be posters. But I'll have a look at that in, the, in a minute. And then DVD, DVD set. Uh, I guess this is either a, it's not the original, I don't think. Oh, this is from a series that aired from 85 to 89, Twilight Zone. So I don't think it's the original, is it? I think the original was earlier than that, so it must be another retelling. 
uh, featuring Wes Craven, Harlan Ellison, Arthur C. Clarke. Fantastic. The critically acclaimed anthology series carried on the legacy of the original Rod Serling programme. Yeah, because the original was 60s, wasn't it? I think 60s. Uh, season 1 stars Bruce Willis, uh, Martin Landau, Elliot Gould, loads of, loads of people. But, uh, oh, nice, nice DVD set. Fantastic. I don't think we ever saw any of the 80s ones. I can't remember them. Oh, that's great because um, I'm really into the uh, the uh, Twilight Zone at the moment with the new one. Oh, what is this in the bottom here? I don't know if it's just packing to pad it out or or if it's a poster. I don't know. Or a couple of posters. Oh, there's a couple of posters, I think. I don't know if I've got the room to um to open these out. Oh my god. I know, I definitely haven't got the room to, help, to to open this up. Definitely not. Uh, what I'll do, uh, I'll go and open that up in the bedroom, uh, on the bed, so you could get a good look at that poster. But yeah, that's a really big poster. That's about the size of my cinema screen. <laughs> Brilliant, fantastic. Well, thank you for all of that, Paul. There's lots and lots of bits and pieces there, a lot of stuff. Pretty much most of it I've never seen. So uh, lots of movies to get us through the winter months when we're all snuggled up and uh, cut off from the rest of the world, <laughs> as usual. Um, yeah, I'll probably start on something like the Zathura and the um, Summer of 84 first. They look really intriguing. But uh, there's certainly some good stuff to be getting on with. So thank you again, Paul. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay. That is a big poster. A massive Star Wars poster. Look at the size of it. Look at the detail of it with the Y-wings, the droids and everything. Wow. This is massive. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get that up in the cinema room. I might be able to get it up here though i'm thinking maybe maybe on that wall there fantastic yes thank you very much for that fantastic so hope you enjoyed the video like it by giving it two thumbs up <laughs> don't forget to subscribe comment and share and i shall see you all on the next video bye